Hi guys, hello and welcome to another C Sharp video tutorial. In this tutorial, I will teach you how you can print the first many multiples of many numbers. So for example, if I'm interested in printing the first 12 numbers multiples. So the first thing I have to make sure that I will do this in two layers of loops or nested loops. My outer loop will control the numbers and my inner loop will basically multiply that with all its multiples to figure out the product. For example, if I would like to first display all the multiplication table, the entire multiplication table for one, then I want to multiply one times one, one times two, one times three, one times four, all the way through 12. And then I will gonna switch over to number two. So basically what I'm doing over here in a nested loop fashion is I'm keeping one number same till I run through the 12 multiples. Then I am changing the number to the next one. So the outer loop will be used to control the number that stays the same for 12 cycles. And then it changes after the 12 cycles are done. And then the inner cycle starts again from one. It's pretty much like a, a, a clock, an analog clock, where you notice that a minute hand completes 60 cycles for, a, for an hour hand to be displaced by one. That's exactly the same way the nested loops work, that the inner loop has to complete all its cycles for an outer loop to be displaced by one. So first of all, I would like to create my outer loop, which will run for 12 times, starting from one, going all the way to 12, incrementing by one. So as you can see, I've declared a variable i, starts at one, will end at 12, incrementing by one. Now over here, before I display all the multiples, I would like to notify table that uh, the user that this will be the table of so-and-so number, okay? And once my inner loop prints all the numbers, I want to do a line separator between the 12 multiples of each number. Now, inside the inner loop, I will going to run from one through 12 again, but using a different variable, so I'm starting at one, I'm coming all the way through 12. And now here I will have a right line instruction in which I will multiply the i and j. And why will I do that? Because I need to display the multiplication table of one and then two, then three, then four, and so on and so forth. So first time the loop runs, the i is one and j is also one. However, j will run from 1 through 12, where i will stay 1. And then once j completes all 12 cycles, we will display this dashed lines. Going back, now i becomes 2. And now we display all the numbers for 2 from 1 through 12. And that's how the rest of the program will run. And these few lines of code can generate the table of 12 for each one, the 12 terms, as you can see right here. If you want to take this code and produce more terms and work with more numbers without having to lengthen anything else, all you need to do is, for example, if I want to print for first 15 numbers, their first 14 multiples, so I just change the numbers and now you will see that I'm going up to the table of 15 for each one I'm printing the first 14 multiples. So in a way you learn about the nested loop, this example teaches you how to work with nested loops and also how the nested loops actually work. The outer loop will stay the same for all the cycles of the inner loop. Once inner loop completes all its cycles then the outer loop gets displaced by one. We will do some more um, tutorials about nested loops, especially the commonly given uh, classroom challenges uh, include creating um, asterisk shapes like right triangle or hollow rectangle, stuff like that. So we're going to be looking at that in our next tutorial. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. 